The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be live. Greetings, my fellow warriors, boy Mechanimal, and today we are training upper body. Max effort pulling is the name of the game. Warming up with some series of muscle up, explosive pull. It usually gives me an idea of how the rest of the uh, pulling workout will be. And uh, this time I'm not worrisome, as, uh, I'm not worrisome at all because uh, it felt pretty smooth. And the version of the pulling, uh, we're gonna be pu putting the emphasis on, on this max effort day will be the mid pause. So you pull to 90 degrees, you hold, and then pull your chin over the ball. I uh, worked my way to 132 pound, you know. Uh, lately, I've been, tried, I've been trying to stay very conservative. Uh, not very, but quite conservative on the max effort. And uh, it's been a better approach because uh, every I'm, I'm able to save myself enough to uh, to have some energy to put on the hypertrophy uh, part of the uh, of the max effort day, meaning the three set of five or five set of five or whatever going come on after the uh, after the uh, the maxing of the of the main lift. And then uh, you can see that I've uh, I've mixed some lower body clips with the upper body uh, workout we are putting the emphasis on today because uh, I don't have enough footage for the from the past uh, uh, lights or speed day, so I'm throwing it in here and um, I did some uh, set of ten with 225 right now. Uh, that's what I've been doing instead of the speed work that I'm supposed to do uh, on the 10 set of uh, 2. I'll do instead 3 set of 10. And then uh, swinging back to the volume work. Uh, for those who've been following, I've been building uh, some the heavy volume with a looped version of the chin up. And I made my way so far to 148. Uh, Point five for a set of three. Uh, I, sh I had to shift. Uh, not put it for the. You can see the difference now uh, without the loops. I always wonder what will be the carryover. Uh, how much is the bend helping? Uh, you can see that I can actually pull the same load uh, without the bend. I don't know, the main difference is that it's much harder to keep your chin over the ball or even to attain it especially on the trailing uh, last repetition so now for those who have been wondering the the use of the band now whether it's helping you too much or whether it's useful well I would say the usefulness is for you to uh, um, to to to, uh, to have as much consistency as possible uh, throughout all the repetition and uh, yeah the top range being the weakest spot it helps you spend enough time uh, on the tension on the top range and as a result uh, possibly uh, get you where you need to be and this is the second set i've done kind of a pyramid um, instead of the, i mean a, a, a set load for three set of ten i've tried to to build up you know in a pyramid scheme because this is something i'm trying to figure out in terms of what volume i'm going to work on because i've been delayed by two and a half three weeks uh since my lower back strain so i've done i've i've only been able to do uh uh the lower um the second my second day uh, my dynamic day i've skipped some of them so i've not really been consistent with the volume work uh, on the on the light day that's the main reason why for the sake of uh, figuring it out what will be my load on uh, ongoing the next uh, few weeks I try to run different load with set of 10 to see uh, to have a good approximation and yeah 245 right now you seeing uh, set of 10 is pretty uh, what you call pretty good 
you know i think i'll start my cycle with 245 by 10 next time and then uh still uh keeping up with the bench press my volume work on the bench is three set of eights today and the difference again from from uh from the past uh from what it was uh two weeks ago is that my lower back is no longer hurting so i can actually uh apply all the torque that uh, I'm able to uh, to harvest and it went pretty smooth stay tight enough I've uh, been cruising and uh, it can clearly see that the load was very 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 uh, reasonable and by the way I've paused at the last repetition of the third set of eight you know because i felt good especially on this third set for whatever reason so i get i decided to get for a little pause and boom you know and for you to do a pause on the third set <laughs> that means you definitely had a lot more in reserve so i'm happy about that fact that little uh, uh what you call um uh, i don't know anyway and uh, yeah, so this will be the third set. I tried to go for uh, 10, 275. So I made a, a, big, uh, a big jump from 245 to 275. And I just decided to stop at five repetitions because something was acting weird in my knee, like on the inner side of my uh, right knee. So for the sake of not triggering something that will set me back again, I decided to call it a day. And then uh, finish up with some backflip to see uh, where I stand. I'm really looking into uh, getting back on uh, some dynamic explosive work because uh, it's springtime. So I'll be spending more time out though and it will be uh, occasion to uh, practice some, uh, some backflip, front flip. I need to link up back with my good friend uh mine who is a tumbling coach uh to um give me some new tricks you know to work on anyway everything is and we always be the mechanic way salute like comment and subscribe and um yeah drop some comments and help the algorithm peace the revolution will not be televised the revolution will be live. live.